year 2005, Volkswagen engineers launched an unprecedented success story, the twin-charged direct-injection TSI engines, pioneering technology for petrol engines. The challenge, enjoyable and comfortable motoring with cubic capacity reduced economical engines. In the past, a classic engineering conflict of goals. The excellent combination of traction power of these compact, highly charged engines with exceptionally low fuel consumption swiftly led to worldwide acceptance of this engine technology by Volkswagen. And the success story continued. The new 90 kilowatt TSI engine with a single turbocharger extended this family of engines with another member of high sales volume. Outstanding properties of this engine by Volkswagen are an advanced combustion process, a simplified injection technique, a carefully optimized turbocharger, and a newly designed water-cooled intercooler system. Engine displacement was reduced by 30% compared to a naturally aspirated four-valve engine with identical torque values. The TSI engine delivers exceptional torque values at low revs. The moderate power requirements enable a cost-effective configuration with a single turbocharger. Similar to the successful TSI twin charger, the development focused on achieving an excellent torque at economical and comfortable low engine speeds. So the driver saves fuel, reduces emissions, and at the same time has motoring enjoyment and safety. The 90 kilowatt TSI engine incorporates a number of advances in engine technology. The air fuel mix was optimized. The position of the injectors was taken from the twin charger but with an optimized six-hole high-pressure injector, improving the three-dimensional fuel distribution. In effect, the injection may start earlier and last longer, giving fuel and air more time to mix, thus improving the homogenization of the mixture. This facilitates very low hydrocarbon emissions. The high pressure pump in combination with fourfold cams on the intake camshaft enables rapid pressure to build up upon a cold start, thus reducing the amount of injected fuel. Result, less fuel consumption, fewer hydrocarbon emissions and less fuel carry into the engine oil. For the layout of the exhaust gas driven turbocharger, the Volkswagen engineers aimed at high dynamics and low fuel consumption. Following intensive testbed research, it was decided to use a low inertia turbo with a turbine wheel diameter of 37 mm and a compressor wheel of 40 mm in diameter. The waste gate diameter is a generous 26 mm. At the intake side, a water-operated charge air cooler is located inside the intake manifold. It has its own cooling cycle. This leads to a lower volume of the charge air system. Result? A very noticeable plus in driving dynamics, giving the driver a decisive gain in safety and comfort. Turbochargers of this layout deliver 80% of the maximum torque at engine speeds as low as 1,250 RPM. From 1500 revs on, the maximum torque of 200 newton meters is available. The joy of driving at reduced engine speeds means joy of saving too. Compared to the 1.6 liter FSI, the TSI engine yields significantly more miles to the gallon. And thanks to its higher torque, it pulls nicely in every gear. Relax driving with all the traction power one can ask for. The compact TSI engine has been developed for widespread use with all Volkswagen Group's volume models up to the Passat. 
These Volkswagen engines with high torque and performance data stem from the EA111, a line of engines including three and four cylinder engines in a two and four valve design with worldwide distribution. With this engine family with cubic capacities from 1.0 to 1.6 liters and power outputs from 37 to 125 kilowatts, Volkswagen is well prepared to further extend the TSI strategy. Especially the TSI line of engines guarantees Volkswagen customers the joy of driving and the joy of saving, combined with excellently low hydrocarbon emission and fuel consumption values. The 90 kilowatt TSI is a convincing offer for motorists who enjoy performance and care about the environment. TSI technology is the answer to tomorrow's automotive requirements. The success story continues.